Most of those ocean memories we have with our family happen in a place like this, that fine line where water meets sand. We go together, we learn about each other, we play, and it goes in the scrapbook. But occasionally, maybe just once in your life, there is that special moment where father and son make that special bond. And it doesn't happen here. It happens there. For Chad City and his family, exploring San Francisco by RV has been an incredible experience and has opened their eyes to the recreation possibilities of this famous destination. That includes the fish. Though instead of heading to Fisherman's Wharf, they're setting out on the ocean in search of a catch or two. The boat I went fishing on was called the Argo. And it was really nice. The people there were really nice. There was Jay and Craig and my dad, me, and Max, my brother. We went fishing for salmon, and then we didn't catch any salmon, so we went over to catch halibut. And I caught one, and it was like 13 pounds. It was pretty big, and then my brother also caught one. Today, the city men have traded the RV for a boat, hooking up with Captain Craig and his assistant Jay from Argo Sport Fishing and Charter Boats. They set sail underneath the Golden Gate Bridge in the early morning hours to find adventure and mystery on the open waters of the Pacific. Fishing was an awesome experience. Everyone wants a first story, you know, first fishing story. And it was just so neat to provide them a really neat first story. And they'll remember that fishing story for the rest of their lives. Captain Craig leads the crew out in search of salmon. But once it's obvious they aren't biting, the city boys get an up-close look at Alcatraz. Hopefully, they'll run into some escaped halibut ready to be caught. And with halibut fishing, I felt like you did a lot more because it was more often. You would you'd have to move more often because the boat would drift closer to the island and he'd have to go farther and then we'd cast our lines out again. I liked halibut fishing for that reason. It was live bait so you'd put it on the hook and then you'd there are these things that you'd clip the rod into and you'd um, put your thumb on the thing and clip it and then the line would go all the way down to the bottom of the wherever you were fishing and then you would just wait until it would bite, and when it bit, you would reel it back up. Once in position, both Max and Zach snagged their own piece of halibut. The boys caught a fish, and I didn't. We're out on this charter fishing trip, and, <laughs> and I definitely feel like I got host. <laughs> Boats have a way of facilitating the creation of bright and clear memories, where families, fathers and sons, are able to make moments that won't fade after a lifetime in the sun. It may be a boat on a local lake or a fishing craft on the endless ocean, but for Chad and his sons, it doesn't matter. When they become teenagers, mom and dad aren't as popular as they used to be. We're not cool anymore. All of a sudden, we're not cool. I don't know why. We're still the same people, but we're not cool. But it does help, and they realize, hey, mom and dad are all right. You know, they're taking us on this cool trip. We're having lots of fun. They're not as, not as lame as I thought they were. This has been one of the best vacations I've ever been on. It's been a good bonding experience for me and my family, and that's kind of what's making this vacation really great, is that we've been able to get to know each other better. If you would like to experience the same fishing trip that the city's experienced, you can go to www.argosportfishing.com. If you'd like more information on the Ray City RV Safari, please go on our Facebook page to find full itineraries and pictures. We're at your leisure. I'm Chad Booth.